The second annual lecture of the niche newspapers which held in Lagos attracted a rich crowd ranging from elder statesmen to business leaders, politicians and many others. It had the theme, business and accountable governance, the obligation of leadership. The guest speaker, Professor Aya O. Aya, borrowed from the Constitution as the basis for judging the country's leaders and how accountable they've been, and concluded that most of the country's leaders have failed to uphold the Constitution. Nigeria is currently immersed in a multi-dimensional crisis. We are in a, a political, we are in a social, we are in an economic, and finally, we are in a moral crisis. What is the evidence on the ground? The cacophony of voices on the political issue of restructuring is a measure of the level of dissonance in the political system. It is possible to reach out a new course. One of the solutions the professor put forward is the need to change the direction of the country's journey by encouraging the youth to contribute to nation building. The chairman of the occasion, Dr. Christopher Collade, agrees. And really, if we intend to build or re reconstruct, rebuild a nation that is going to earn our own respect, forget about respect of anybody else, a nation that we shall be proud of. Let us look at these young people, find out where they are doing good things, and recognize it. To move forward, we must go from the level of talking to the level of doing. We have all the ideas in this country, but we must begin to start acting. And again, I blame, I blame Nigerians. I blame Nigerians. We are, we are so docile. We don't challenge leadership. The niche newspapers, organizers of this event, say they are committed to playing their role in nation building. First, by amplifying and then helping to implement some of the solutions put forward at this lecture. Shola Shieli, Channels Television News.